In the 50s when I was really a, a youngster watching the, the odd TV programme, because we only had really one TV channel in those days, amazingly, I can remember the, uh, the 53 Cup final was come through uh, for the last few decades uh, with Stanley Matthews jinxing down the wing against Bolton and uh, the comeback and they won 4-3. And then from my own personal point of view, 1964 was a, a great memory because that was when uh, West Ham, my team, uh, got to the final, won it, uh, but at the semi-final against Man United to beat the likes of Lord Best and Cholton again was something that, uh, you know, as a West Ham fan you never forget. To then in 1975 and 1980 get two opportunities to play in the FA Cup final was fantastic. Um, the first one, we, we played Fulham, who were in division lower, and, and uh, we won that 2-0, but probably 1980 was extra special because we were a division down, Arsenal were expected to win, and of course they scored the winning goal with a header, and um, at that stage you get excited, you, you're pleased for yourself as well as the team, but you don't quite realise the significance. But not one week's gone by, I can honestly say, in those 32 years, somebody hasn't reminded me of it, whether it's a, a cabbie I get in in London, or somebody I'm just walking along in, in town in the street come up and said about the head up. The banter and you know the fun and, and, and just the exchanges you have with people you've never met in your life just shows you how much of an impact you know, the Cup Final has. I mean, the FA Cup Final, as a little youngster, you got up at <laughs> eight or nine o'clock in the morning because you know the TV had it on from about nine, ten o'clock. The build-up to the cup final was something special. My brother was a couple of years older than me, and we go out in the back garden and relive the cup final for a few weeks. And with our friends, we'd relive it. To think I could, might play in one, bring on my wildest dreams.